friends when someone says that he has improved or he has grown in the profession so what does that mean it simply means that the person has improved his confidence and he has become more self aware and along with that he has also developed his strength so friends what are the factor which are responsible for the career growth today i will tell you four major factor which are responsible for our career growth what most people are doing they are just behind the two elements that is skill and knowledge and they are completely ignoring the two other elements like your attitude and talent see skill and knowledge is just your 50% part and if you just focus on those parts you will just survive but you will not reach to the level of excellence in your career if you want to reach to the level of excellence if you want to reach to your highest potential then you have to focus on all these four parts then and then you will be able to grow in your career so for friends let's understand what are these four elements the first knowledge so what is knowledge knowledge has two parts your experiential knowledge and theoretical knowledge so how do we gain that experiential knowledge means it is our experience and when we read different research article when we talk to the subject matter experts discussion then this is how we gain the experiential knowledge and second is the theoretical knowledge theoretical knowledge means we gain that through books through different journals articles research paper that is how we gain the theoretical knowledge knowledge base is important i am not saying that knowledge is not important but only knowledge is not enough if you want to grow in your career so along with that you have to also focus on other four parts second part is skill what is skill skill is all about execution your action and the steps which are involved in particular activity when you learn the skill so how how can you say that we have learned a particular skill see skill improves by practice and when you learn the steps in that particular activity you learn that skill for example dancing or public speaking these skills have different steps when you learn those step when you practice those step you learn the skill and third part is about your attitude see most people are just gaining the knowledge and they are improving the skill but they are not giving the attention to their attitude so what is attitude attitude is all about your perspective your approach your orientation for example you may be uh, you you can have a positive attitude or a negative attitude so your behavioral traits for example you you may be arrogant or you may be supportive the kind of love you show to, towards other so all these parameters are part of the attitude and attitude is important for your professional growth because it is said that the height of your success is decided by the, your attitude and not your aptitude so friends having a good attitude is also essential and fourth element is your talent this is the most important among these four element talent is most important why because it is all about your innate intelligence your uh, natural thought pattern and about your strongest connection of your neurons in the brain for particular activity for example emotions your logic your interpersonal intelligence all these are the example of talent see talent is not something big lot of people say that i do not have much talent or i am not talented see first they don't understand what is talent talent is just your natural thought pattern it is just your, something which you have that inborn capability and what you have to do you have to align your skill your knowledge and attitude with your talent then and then you will reach to the level of excellence otherwise if you just focus on skill and knowledge then you will just survive in your career you will not reach to the level of excellence so friend if you want to reach to the level of excellence you have to develop all these four elements friends in my next video i will tell you how can we measure this four element so can we measure them the first question is can we measure them and second if yes then how can we measure all these four elements so that it will help you to grow in your career so friends thank you for watching